evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen in the, uh, the esteemed community. I uh, was uh, reading on the forums about uh, um, some guys that were having problems um, with symmetry and I just uh, I wanted to see if I could help you guys out because uh, uh, I learned how to use it in about an hour and it's pretty pretty easy and it's pretty rewarding you can build some cool stuff with it like, uh, like this guy this is my uh, militia tech SRXV short range exploration vessel slash mining gig and it's got uh, it's got some cool things that you can get with it like uh, I got a little boom crane that I blueprint that I got here that I built and it's a sensor pretty much with that landing gear that comes down and grabs your ship and yeah it's got all sorts of neat stuff you can check it out on the workshop but anyway back to symmetry um, you guys are saying that you're having some problems with it so I'm going to try and explain it as clear as I can and I'm not going to try and I will try not to overcomplicate it but I also don't want to leave out key things that you should know okay and um, just as a disclaimer I don't really know what I'm doing or know what I'm talking about so you could either take it or leave it. Okay, so to do this, you would set uh, new large ship, right? You get your block out, and so you want to start building your ship right off the bat with symmetry, which you should I think, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna build a symmetrical ship, why not start it off with the first block the way it should be? Okay, so how this works is. You, you press the M key to bring up symmetry. That's the M key to bring up symmetry. And M will cycle through all the different mirrors. These are mirrors. And think of them as exactly that. They think of this guy as just half a block. He's only half a block. And he's looking at himself in the mirror. That's what this is. That's what's going on here, okay? So, to activate symmetry, um, yeah, start with the red one. Always start, always start with the red one. To activate it, you just, ha you have to click the mouse after you press the M key to bring up symmetry. You have to click. See how it got brighter? Now it's red? That means it's activated, okay? Now you're ready to start going with it. Alright, so this is where people run into problems with it. They're like, oh, well, I can't get my block. My block doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's broken. I need an adult. I can't make it go. It doesn't work. Hit the N key. Nancy key. N. And then hit it again once more. And it'll bring the symmetry back up, and then your block's ready to go on the other side, and you can start building in symmetry. Okay. It's actually pretty easy. Now, you can... This is a very good illustration of how this works, too. This is a mirror, right? This block. Look at this block looking at himself in the mirror. Everywhere he moves in the mirror, he's, he's tracked, right? We can build further away from him. We could build because we can build on this side. Or we could build in closer to the mirror to the point where it becomes one. Because we get so close to the mirror. Remember how we were talking about half block? The half block? All the way to the point where it becomes a one because it's. 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 You know? It's physics. Right? Okay. So, and then you can add off of that by adding more mirrors. Where your designs can get really complicated. So you could, or you could, or you could keep it on one mirror. And you can figure things out. And you could do it like that and make it more complicated for yourself. And possibly screw something up. And then it won't be perfectly symmetrical. And then your whole design screwed and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you could also bring up another mirror 
to, to work off of another plane. So to bring up a uh, symmetry again, we press the M key, M, cycle through. We'll go off the screen one. We'll go, we'll build the uh, top to bottom, right? Because we're going to place this mirror on this plane. And now it's a mirror going this way. And then you're like, oh, well, it doesn't work, it's broken again, and it doesn't, I need an adult. No. Hit the N key again, remember the N? Nancy key, N, and then hit it again. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Now you got, now you're going off of this. Right? Okay, you see how that works now? It's just a block looking in the mirror. He's looking at himself in the mirror. That's all it is. They're just mirrors. So you could go out with it. Oh, sorry. You know, you could, uh, this could possibly be, a, you know, the start of something beautiful. The juggernaut, right? With the towel offer. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so you see how that works. Right? Um, you could, you, you, you could get really trippy and add in another mirror. <laughs> you could go with the blue mirror. Now, to remember, I can choose where it goes, but you should keep everything center. So, we started off in there, so we'll be about on the grid or there or whatever, right? Alright, so I click the mouse there to set it where I want it to be and just keep everything in all center where it should be. And then I hit the N key, Nancy key, and then I hit the N key again. And then shit's getting really trippy. Okay. Now you're building things that you shouldn't be building in symmetry and 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 oh my god, the planets, uh, the planets have aligned. We're in business, people. Right? So you could work with it and build perfectly symmetrical things. And, um, you know what I would like, uh, to do, uh, if anybody's watching this? Uh, I think it would be really fun space engineers thing. And, I would love to see some of the pro guys who are really good with it, you know. I have my fair share of techniques, but uh, it's one of those Rook, uh, or what are they called, uh, Rook Goldberg things or whatever, where, you know, you start the ball rolling and the ball hits the cup and into the cup it goes and it knocks over the thing. I think uh, if we could do one of those with rotors and rockets and sensors and, uh, and, uh, Everything else, I think that would just be awesome. Uh, I, I would uh, I love to give a shout out to, um, uh, I believe his name's Aaron from Last Stand Gamers on uh, YouTube. That'd be that would be cool. Yeah, do something like that. So yeah, and this is how it works. You build perfectly symmetrical things and on all, using all different kinds of mirrors. Um, yeah, the more mirrors you add, the crazier it's going to get, and, um, and then you, you know, once you have this all on, and you're just like, well, I want to get back to the way I was, it's broken, I need an adult, um, just right click on all your mirrors as you cycle through them, um, say the green one, right click, it's off, the blue one, right click, it's off, back to the red one we can set him somewhere because he's off and we set him back to the landing gear where we started right right off that center beam you should keep him there or you could you could move them off and then start mirroring off of like another plane you could mirror off of this and you could go out you could set it click the mouse button hit the n key and nancy and then we can uh, do symmetry off of this, right? You know? So that's pretty neat.
but you, you oh, like I said, uh, once you start your thing, you, well, you should keep everything center so it stays symmetrical, but um, for a more experienced person, yeah, you could do it like this, and uh, uh, I thought there was a way to add a second one in. Uh, I believe not. Uh, I am wrong. Um, there is no way to add a second mirror in. Um, so yeah, but uh, you would want to keep everything centered, so you put that back to there. Uh, click it t t to put it on. It's not on there. I can't get it on there because I'm too far away. It's being stupid. You get the idea. It should be centered with the landing gear there. Yeah. Yeah, I think right there. And then N key, and again, and then we're we're back to where we where we should be, right? <coughs> just the one mirror. We're not using all the mirrors, so we're just getting the one effect of one mirror. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, or if I th if it wasn't clear enough, uh, let me know, and I can try and redo it again. Just remember that Nancy key. You have to hit that N key and then hit it again to get it going, I guess. I don't know why. Um, and then just right right click to uh, to uh, take mirrors off, you know, to delete mirrors. If you're going to put mirrors on, um, you know, by uh, right clicking will take them off. And you can tell if they're on or off by the highlight. So I hope that helps, and uh, uh, yeah, questions or comments, go for it. Thanks.